Uh, here we're going to dig into how chat GPT does an uh, actuarial exam, specifically exam nine. See the screen. Pull up open AI. Now this, if you're going to type a prompt in you, in my case, like GPT four, which I pay, pay for with a subscription currently $20 a month. I imagine that's going to change someday when this gets published. Can you write a an actuarial exam? The GPT says, and then we're going as it's writing its answer. GPT four is slower than other GPT instances, um, but that's okay because we have already I've already generated all of the answers that I'm going to use here. So in my blog post, which I'll link to. Uh, I've gone through the uh, various different types of answers, and I'm going to pull out three examples from the actual answers that GPT wrote, um, and we're going to examine them and talk about them very briefly. So the first one would be uh, would be a example where GPT got an answer right, and so that would be here. So this is. Question, one number, question number this is actually, we'll look it up in the um, in the notes, in six or seven maybe. So this is where we asked GPT to calculate the, the price of a 1,000 par value bond with a 5% annual coupon maturing in four years. And it gets a whole bunch of information about the yield curve. GPT nailed this one. It nailed a section A, got full marks. Section B, calculate expected one year short rate from now. Uh, expect, assume the expectations hypothesis is valid. Calculate the expected one year short rate from now. Assume liquidity preference theory is valid. Um, and it got all the math right. Now, one of the things that I noticed when I was writing, when I was generating these responses, is if I made a mistake in inputting the actual text and it generated another response, is they get some wacky stuff sometimes. So, GPT will generate very different kinds of answers depending on God knows what. <laughs> it depends on. Uh, and so you have to be uh, mindful of the fact that what you're seeing is an example of an answer that GPT can give. And if you regenerate it, you'll get something different. And I'm not gonna regenerate it because I wanna preserve the actual answer here that I posted on the blog, but you can do it yourself. Uh, the next example is one where GPT had an interesting response. Um, insurance risk allocation. Looking for my list of answers here. Um, there it is. Okay, so this is an answer which was kind of a complex um, question where we had a whole bunch of scenarios generated from a uh, simulation, a stochastic simulation of a capital model of a company, I would guess. And so there's lots of math, of course, that you go through in analyzing the simulation. And here we justify a risk measure to determine which line of business is more efficient use of capital. So what's interesting is they go through an answer, and then B is, uh, oh, sorry, I um, I tried something different with this question. <laughs> I preserved the wrong thing, uh, I preserved the wrong answer uh, here. Uh, actually, I lost, must have lost my answer. Anyway, the purpose of me showing this to you folks is here. And this is something I tried to experiment in with in a few instances, so you'll see answer this question from an actuarial exam with correct numerical numerical and I tried to play with the prompt so that I might try and get chat GP to give me different answers very specific answers because it was refusing to actually do the math the final very complex calculations uh, using a lot of shortcut type formulas that actuarial students are given in this case it said without a calculator I can't do it which is kind of silly since it's a machine and should be able to do things without a calculator uh, and there's not really a way in this version of GPT to break through this constraint, self-imposed constraint. So I couldn't do that. Uh, and you'll see the answer is broadly equivalent to the one that I have here that's in the blog post. Uh, the last one is called risk load and capital. Here. So this is an example of question nine. This is question 19, an example of a question that GPT completely failed to answer accurately. So. Uh, the, this is a tough question. So this is a question where you have some arbitrary, well, I mean arbitrary, but ad hoc 
tiny little model that's a capital model a leverage ratio for the company and you have to understand a lot of nuance about how these models are constructed and what they're trying to do in order to answer this question and gpt basically was incapable of doing that and it did not understand kind of the underlying logic of the model and so how to actually apply it uh it did all kinds of weird stuff weird math that is sort of at least arithmetically correct in this case, there isn't always, I mean, uh, the arithmetic on GPT is actually pretty good, um, but the, the actual implementation of this function, and they didn't understand how it worked. Uh, and so it came up with an answer that was kind of wacky and uh, and completely failed on this question. So this is how GPT works. This is how you give GPT an actuarial exam. And uh, we'll be doing many more of these.